What's up everyone, welcome back to another Astronomical Events video where I talk about the upcoming Astronomical Events for the upcoming month. And so in today's video, I'll be talking about the upcoming Astronomical Events for the month of September 2021. So if you don't want to miss out on any of my new videos, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell as well. So September 1st brings us the Moon Beehive Conjunction event on September the 4th. The Moon will appear very close to the Beehive Star Cluster during this time, and it'll be in its main increasing phase with 8.9% illumination, so the moon will be very thin when this happens. The conjunction event will happen in the early morning. A conjunction event is when two celestial objects appear very close together in the night sky, as seen from Earth. On September the 10th, we will have a moon-venus conjunction event in which the moon will appear very close to the planet Venus in the night sky. The moon will be in its waxed increasing phase with 13.2% illumination when this happens, so the moon will also be quite thin during this time. The conjunction event will happen in the early evening immediately after sunset, so if you want to see this, you'll have to look for both celestial objects in the western skies after sundown. Mercury will also be visible at the same time as the conjunction event, but you will need to have a clear view of the horizon if you want to see Mercury itself. On September the 11th, we will have a moon perigee in which the moon will make its closest approach to the Earth at 385,500 kilometers away from our planet. The moon will be in its waxed increasing phase with 22.3% illumination when this happens, and it will appear bigger than usual. On September the 14th, Mercury will reach its greatest eastern elongation of 26.8 degrees from the Sun. This is the best time to view the elusive planet Mercury since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the early evening sky. Look for the planet low in the western sky just after sunset. You must have a clear view of the horizon since the planet will still be very low in the sky itself. At the same time, Neptune will reach its opposition and will thus be at its closest to our planet. A planet is said to be in opposition when it is directly opposite the Sun, as seen from Earth. Since Neptune will be at its closest to the Earth, this makes it the best time to photograph the blue gas giant. However, due to its extreme distance from the Sun, Neptune is not visible to the naked eye and will only appear as a blue dot in all but the most powerful telescopes. On September the 17th, we will have a Moon-Saturn conjunction event in which the Moon will appear very close to the planet Saturn in the night sky. The Moon will be in its waxing gibbous phase with 86.2% illumination when this happens. Jupiter will also be visible at the same time as the conjunction event, making it a great photographic opportunity to capture both planets and the Moon at the same time. On September 18, we will have a Moon-Jupiter conjunction event after the Moon moves on from Saturn and on to Jupiter. The Moon will be in its waxing gibbous phase with 93% illumination when this happens, so it will be very big and bright when this happens. Saturn will also be visible at the same time as the conjunction event, making it another great photographic opportunity to capture both planets and the Moon at the same time. On September the 23rd, we will have the September equinox in which the Sun will shine directly in the equator and result in nearly equal amounts of day and night throughout the world. This is also the first day of fall or the autumnal equinox in the northern hemisphere and the first day of spring or the vernal equinox in the southern hemisphere. Finally, on September the 27th, we will have the moon apogee in which the moon will be at its furthest from the Earth at 4,600 kilometers away from our planet. The moon will be in its waxing gibbous phase with 71.2% illumination when this happens, so it will appear smaller than usual. So that's it for the highlights of September 2021 guys, and hope that you found this video useful and informative so far, and hopefully you'll be able to catch one or more of the astronomical events for September 2021. So if you plan to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, then I wish you good luck with your stargazing or astrophotography, clear skies, and stay safe.